centering. So we all know that we talk about our core or engaging our core muscles. We're going to talk about those muscles shortly. But what we want is that everything we do is originating from that center, or it's often known even as your powerhouse. So if you think this is your physical center of gravity, or this is the center of our body, this is um, where we want our movement to initiate from. So I'm going to stabilize and balance around that. So if we're talking core stability, what does that even mean? If I was standing on the edge of a cliff, for example, or on a balance beam, and I start to fall forward, how am I going to stop falling on my face? A couple of ways I could do this. I could stick my bottom out, so stick my butt out in the opposite direction. That's going to stop me from falling. I could stick a leg out in the opposite direction, and that's going to counterbalance where my weight is. Or someone could hold on to the back of my shirt. That could stop me from falling too. So something else, an actual physical something else is stopping me from falling. If I don't do any of those, and I get my slight falling forward, but then I engage my core muscles, that's counterbalancing my falling forward and stopping me from falling on my face. So that's a concept that we want to apply through the exercises. So as I move my leg, maybe away from my center of gravity rather than moving my back to counterbalance that, I would use my core muscles. So that was our centering, control. We want to make sure that we're in control of all the movements we do. So basically we don't want to be just haphazardly throwing the movement around. Every movement has a purpose. We're in control all the way, all the way up, all the way down. Not lift and then drop. We're not just going to pick up a bag of glasses and then, or crystal glasses and then drop them on the floor. We're going to control that lower. Control.